Now in this video let's try to learn how to write the subsets, the complete subset of a given set and uh, here are four questions, right, one, two, three, four and uh, I think in previous video I have, I must have told that to find out the total number of subset of a given set we have a formula, we have a shortcut that just write 2 to the power n and here this n represents the number of elements, number of elements so in a given set if you know the total number of elements then you can predict how many subsets are possible there right so in the first question let's discuss about this first question uh, how many members are there there is just only one member so how many subsets are possible 2 to the power 1 that is we will have two two subsets here right and the f uh, I had already told you that uh, one subset every every set has at least one subset at least one subset and that is Phi. Phi is the subset of every, every set. Alright. So this, this set will also have the phi as a set. This will also have phi as a set. This will also has phi as a subset. Means all these four, not only these all four, any subset a question gives you. Any question give me, uh, I can write uh, easily that phi is the subset of those all set. Alright. So here this all four has phi as a subset. And then next, uh, next subset of the first question. Uh, is just uh, what I told you just write the element of that set and then put by the curly bracket and that's my new subset right of the given set so as I had said 2 to the power 1 two sets we have two subsets we have so we got the two subset one is phi and another this one and now two we have two members in this second question so how many subsets will be getting yes 2 to the power 2 that is four subsets will be getting and out of four we have got already one so now let's write the rest of these three subset and our first member is A so let's write A and then put the curly bracket our second member is B and then put curly bracket and now we can take this A and B together so A and B I took together and I put the curly bracket so these are the four subset that I can write All right? these are the four subset of this given uh, set having two members All right? so here we have now one two three we have three members keep in mind so how many subsets are possible so 2 to the power 3 that is 8 so there are 8 subsets possible so first we have already find out that is 5 and now we need to write the rest of these 7 subsets so as I told you to write the subset you just have to put the members and then uh, close by the curly bracket so first member is 1 and I put the curly bracket and again second member is 2 and then I put the curly bracket these are the three subsets and now the third 3 and then put the curly bracket and now I can take this 1 and 2 together 1 and 2 together and put the curly bracket and now I can take this 2 and 3 together alright 2 and 3 together and put the curly bracket my curly bracket is not so good so don't laugh and now uh, I can take this 1 and 3 together alright 1 and 3 together so I write the third uh, so, uh, the second last uh, subset and now I can take this three all together at one time right so one two and three so I took all together at one time so see these are the eight uh, subsets possible of uh, all, all eight possible subsets of the third question see you can count one two three four five six seven eight all right so I think you learned how to write the subject you can you can you can imagine also see there is no more possibilities of writing in a different way all right uh, because we take one and two together one and three also together we uh, we write two and three together and two and one also together and one thing uh, you might be saying hey we have written one and two and we have uh, we have given the uh, uh, curly bracket why we can't write two and one there is more possible so my brother or sister i already told you in set theory uh, order does not matter if you're writing a b c or you're writing C B A or you're writing B C A or you're writing A C B that does not matter you can write in any ways alright order does not matter in set theory so now phi phi means nothing is in that set alright so how many possible sets subset are possible 2 to the power nothing means 0 so what 1 only one subset is possible so phi is itself the subset of this phi and one thing you know that the set itself is subset of that of that set you know phi is the subset of every set every i i need to write 
phi is the subset of every set and set right suppose set a is the subset of set a a is it any any imaginary set okay so any set if you have that is itself the subset of that set and phi is the subset of every set so what you can say every set has at least two subset except this phi okay keep in mind except this phi every set has at least two set whether the set is containing two elements or one elements or hundreds of elements that does not matter but that must have at least two subset except this phi phi means set having nothing all right i hope you understand how to write the subset if there is any problem or similar pro uh, similar questions you might be getting some difficult then feel free to comment just below this video or you can text me the questions uh, you can uh, you can mail me you can message me all right uh, I hope you enjoyed this class and we'll be meeting the next video. Catch you in the next video. Goodbye.